I've literally just arrived back from Seattle. I'm in New York and I am still on a high man. I've just had the best weekend in Seattle and I am buzzing. That stadium, CenturyLink Field, is so cool. There's navy and green everywhere. They're a big sporting city. Everyone's very friendly and they want to chat to you about their local team and they want to know your story. It's a very social place to visit. One of the cool things we did do was a uh, tour of CenturyLink Field, cost 14 bucks, and you get to stand on the field, you get to go into the locker rooms, you see where the press and the TV commentators set up for the day. This is the view from the top of CenturyLink Field. Not bad, hey? We learnt that the stadium can hold 70,000 people, but on the day, man, I swear, it's, it felt like 700,000. Those 12s are so loud. <laughs> We arrived at Occidental Avenue, which is kind of the main strip that leads directly into the stadium. The atmosphere and the build-up is honestly, it's amazing. Another cool thing is they've got lots of food trucks that line up uh, all around the stadium. So you can grab hot dogs and nachos and it's just a really great setup. I'd recommend getting into the stadium about an hour before kickoff. So our game started yesterday at 5.30 and we made sure we were in by 4.30. Just because it's really cool, we got to watch the Seahawks and the Colts warm up on the field. Pete Carroll was right near us, we were sitting in the end zone and you could see him talking to his players and stuff. That was super cool. And also the, you know, the players running out, the fireworks, the national anthem just gives you goosebumps. It just really helps build into the experience and you just feel like you're really immersing yourself in the game and in the spirit and you just can't help but get caught up in it and I mean overall it's just an unbelievable experience. Now obviously I went with The Juice, my husband, he is a massive Indianapolis Colts fan and we were surrounded by Seahawks fans and I will say that they were giving it to him especially when you know the Colts came out and took the lead in the first half. But it was all friendly, it was all good natured, um, they were all high-fiving and hugging at the end and they really respect people that come and show their colours. So as long as you're not a dick and you know, you're know you just barracking for your side and you're not too antagonistic, uh, you're not going to have any issues no matter who you support. It's a very friendly and welcoming atmosphere, so all good. If nothing else, you've got to go though just to hear the noise that the Seahawks fans make. They're famous for it. They do it when the opposition are trying to make play calls and set up and work out their next move. Just sitting at CenturyLink Field, half the stadium is open and you get to see the, the beautiful Seattle city backdrop and the night lights. It was, it was just truly magical. You gotta do it. <laughs>